Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Derek and today we're going to continue our Legion quest run uh, for during Folk. So last time we tried to get to Angma here, we died horribly. So I had to finish a book six, volume one, a book six, chapter one to six. What do you have to finish so you can get into this area? If you don't know where that starts, you have to go to Rivendell um, in the Troll Shores. Coming up here. And Aragorn is in here in the guest house. And he will give you Volume 1, Book 6, Chapter 1 right away. There's no requirement attached to this. You can, as long as you level whatever it is, 40 um, or 50, you can take it. And that will open up this book quest. You have to run around. Um, so it sends you to Estelle in first and here. And you have to run around a few times between here and there. Um, only really kill one thing or two things. And that's it. You get the passive skill Conqueror of the Watching Stones, which allows you to pass them without dying. And that's what you have to do. Then you can go on. It's kind of annoying. I wish that the level 1 to 105, whatever it's called, Gift of the Valinor or whatever it is, uh, would give you that right away. That, that would make sense to me. But, you know, if you've done that, you wonder why you can't do this. Do Volume 1, Book 6, starting with Aragorn in Rivendell, um, in, the, in the guest house. Do that, and you can go past, and you can go on to a gun, no, uh, to Gablit Shatua. Kinda annoying. What you gotta do? And then, well, from there on, you know, 21st Halls, please, you get to, um, Thorns Hall, obviously, is pretty easy to get to. You have this unlocked if you've been there or not. And then Gondamon is right next to Thorns Hall, basically. There's a little bit of running around, but uh, not a whole lot. This is really annoying quest, <laughs> to be honest. Having to go all over Middle Earth um, doing these quests. Uh, what we definitely should do, well, let's talk to. He's for the book quest, let's leave him. Talk to this guy. What do you want? Uh, the King of the Mountain will have my respect and loyalty. Uh, Parents, if Thorn were on a journey here to aid us against our enemy, we would feel differently. Nah. I mean, eventually they gotta clear out Angma, right? I mean, we defeated Sauron, Angma should be ready to fall. I don't know, maybe that's a different game. Oh, we even have an Ark of Swift Trap here. That's interesting. Alright, so we gotta go to either 21st Hall or to Gondaman. I think if we take. Estelin, that might be the best one. We go to Estelin. And from Estelin, we can go to Westbury. And from Westbury, we can go to Thorns Hall. And from Thorns Hall, we can go to whoever that is. And then we should go here. We go on to Gondamon as well. Um, I didn't write those quests. How can I be of service? It's what it is. Usually, I would say, well, I only did it to get more Mithra points out of you to do for you to charge. Buy a Mithril point so you can port to them directly. Can't even do that. So that's not it. So I guess that's just really what they wanted to do. Hmm. I did a swift travel, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it just took forever to actually happen. That happens sometimes. It takes forever, and you're like, I did that, right? Alright. Uh, let's see. Definitely still load in. And then from here on, we can go on. Can we go to the 21st hall? How can I be of Not directly. That's fine. We can go to a Thorns Gate. Uh, oh, I think from Southbury we can go on to the 21st hall. What we can do is we can probably travel to. I actually think from Erebor we can get to the 21st hall of the Swift Travel. I know I have to travel to it. Alright, Dwalin is probably in the throne room, throat room here, so we gotta go inside. Uh, Thorns Gate doesn't look as exciting as... Yeah, never been here, wow. Doesn't look as exciting as, um... You know, Erebor. A little, a little smaller, but you know, it does its job. Also, Dwarf starting area if you ever do that. Ooh, a little leggy. Good old Arable quarry. And here we are in Arable. I forgot who that dude is. 
Should have a little plaque there. King. Whatever his face is. Yeah, it's a little smaller. But you know, not everybody can be the king under the mountain. Actually, surprised my horse goes, goes near. But I take it. Oh, you remember when you were level 22? Uh, such a long time. Alright. Greetings. I know what brings you here. I lived in Erebor for many, many years. I'm not boastful enough to think that I would have changed the cause of battles if you thought. I told Dane to find the agents of Mordor that came to Erebor seeking news of our old work of Bilbo. Perhaps that refused to seal his fate, and perhaps it did not. But I know Dane and I would not be glad to have. Uh, but I know Dane would not be glad to have died of years. It's bad. His son Thor may not have proved himself to draw that his father was, but in time he will. Right. Fair enough. I mean, yeah, he's a new king. Uh, he needs to pro prove himself. Give him some time. Give him some time and he might do it. Him following his horse. Pretty awesome. Dwarves just win. Oh, well, elves any day. Even so I'm playing an elf right now. There was a high dwarf you could play. Play him right away. But those don't exist. Alright, so now we gotta go to uh, Gondamon, which is a little bit further out uh, down here. It's not that bad getting there. Uh, I actually wanna get the stable. I don't think I ever got the stable here. I'm not sure if this is important. I mostly also want to see if I can travel to um, the 21st hall from here. If I can, uh, we might want to think about doing that first. What do you need? Uh, we cannot. Oh, we cannot go to... It's surprising that I have the other stables unlocked. But not that one. Not sure what that would be. Alright, and we're running out of thorns. All. Into the thorns. Gate right here. The Whale of Thrain. And then uh, Gondamon is gonna be down there. Pretty close, uh, not too far off the right. Copper. Round treasury. And we just follow the road, basically. You could take the stable horse to knock knock land or whatever it's called. Um, but your horse, you have mounted horse, uh, mounted horse. We have a war horse, horse deed. It's actually faster unless it gets stuck on a freaking marker. Which doesn't make any sense. And then some foxes here. There's a lot of foxes, wow. There's Nog Blonde or whatever it's called. Don't have to go there. We do not have to go over the bridge here. That will take us uh, to whatever that place is called. It's a long. Sanuo. This is a level 40 area. But we want to move on and then Gondolon is going to be over here on the right somewhere. You wonder why my graphics are so low if I put it on high, on, on ultra. Even though my computer can handle it, no question, it, it will crash. I don't know what's going on. But, I don't know, maybe the combination of memory process I have doesn't work for this game. There we go. Looks like a little old castle. The Dwarven Fort. Whee! Okay, if I would have died from that, I would have been slightly upset. We get the horse in here, we talk to whatever his face, face is, Methy, and um, then we can move on to the 21st floor. Which I can't go in directly. I'm hoping for Maribor. I do have to travel the, the stables in the 21st floor. In Moria, in case you don't know where the 21st floor is, and, but I don't have the master to it yet. That's a problem with, you know, starting a new character. You, you missed all the old content. Hey, yes. 
Greetings. Uh, the king of the mountain has been slain has been slain before the gates of Erebo, but his son survives. We are fortunate that Thorn the Third did not fall in battle. You will have my support. And wh why wouldn't you? Alright, so what I'm thinking is, we go into the hall under the mountain. And in my mind, that should absolutely have a stable to the 21st hall. If not, it just wouldn't make any sense. If not, well, actually, I'm, I almost know for certain that this one will. So we go into Mordor, which will bring us to Mac Ash 2. Um, that looks pretty awesome. And uh, that should definitely have onto the 21st wall. Yeah, there we go. 21st wall. That's all we want. Uh, talk to Bosi. Alright, come on. There we go. Oh, we are in uh, Moria. Uh, Bosi should be over there. That little. Whatever it was called. Moria is still probably my favorite place in this whole game. By far. There's Bosi. Thank you for bringing word from Erebor. If these will be many troubles for us here, and I hope you will put some good words with King Thorin on our behalf. Tremendous upheavals have shaken the earth in recent days, and many good draws have been lost. Fallen into pits or separate from their fellows by growing chasms and crumbling ceilings. Alright, so something is going on in a Casa Doom. Oh, that's the problem. We don't have. We have to wait three minutes for that cooldown. I did not even think about that. That we can't talk to him right away. Well, while that is happening. What we can do is, I can go over here to the auction house real quick. Because I've been meaning to do this and do all the leeching quests, so I actually saved up quite a lot of the leeching points. So let's pull them out all, all out. We have. Why are those separate? 172 here and 23 of those. I think that will be enough. <laughs> but you never know. Who knows? Maybe it's not. Okay, while we wait, let's actually go to the Uden Foothold. Did we get the stable outside Erebor? I should have gone uh, to take the stable back to Mac Ashtu here. Hey, didn't think about it. Um, because we need some. Yeah, I should have taken this table back to my cash. Yeah, that was stupid. I didn't think about it. Because we have to go there anyway to see if that one has the travels to Erebor. Since technically that's where you go back from Erebor. I don't know. Probably not. But, you know, it's worth trying out. Otherwise, we still have two minutes to wait. Um, self breed, 21st hall. Nope, doesn't have it. Alright. Gotta wait two minutes. Sorry about that. That's my fault. But what we can do in those two minutes a vendor of rare oddities. In days. Uh, you have no jewelry, you only have armor? Uh, I thought I had some jewelry here. Yeah, I don't need this. We could get a statue of Sauron. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want any of those. We don't want the crafting vendors. Asks. Thought there was a guy we can get some decent jewelry from. It's not these guys. This is yeah, because that is mean. the signets which I have bazillion from. Don't need those. Just click it so that once it's ready, um. Oh, we'll travel, travel star right away. We could get some of those. I mean, it doesn't matter. Stuff that we have really doesn't do anything. Oh, this is far from fair. I think that's not us right now either. It's the same guys here. Why are they here twice? I haven't slept in days. Oh, well. Can we get a decent ring here? 
Hey, why is it all armor pieces? Why is there no ring of jewelry here? That's what I need. How much longer do we have? 14 seconds. Alright, so everybody said, yep, yeah, it's cool. Dane is the king under the mountain. No problem. Uh, actually, what we can do is we can use a few of those and get ourselves to 10. That way we can unlock chapter 3 right away. Which is the next one that we need. Ah, load, load, load. You remember, you can actually write your code under here. Uh, which is some more token of service over here. We get this one. Um, you read it, it doesn't tell you you have chapter 3. But, you know, you have to go back to that dude at the beginning, basically, and he will uh, tell you to be there. It's a little bit better than um, Thorn's Gate, huh? Or Thorn's Hall. But, you know, a little bit richer. You could say this is the seat of, well, I would say Moria should be the seat of government for the dwarves, but this one is probably the better defended and developed area than uh, Moria. Especially since we just heard there are issues in Moria. Alright. You have delivered the proclamations. My dog good. coming up for good. some attention. But what is this? What do you mean what is this? The small rock contained mithril on Eyebright when you say it's a gift from Bosi and the Iron Gardens and Castle Doom. You tell them also of the recent troubles. Uh there's treasure hidden within Mordor as you have proven, but only in Castle Doom can Mithril be found in goodly goodly quantity. The iron guns must simply preserve and mine as much as they can. I am certain uh, such a people quiet after time. Uh -huh. Thank you, uh, Funks again, return to me. Yeah. So there we go. We have to start chapter three. It doesn't tell you anything about it, but again, we unlocked it already. Uh, Gimli's request. So we get something from Gimli here for whatever reason. That's cool. I help Gimli. Nothing wrong with helping our good old buddy. Who probably still feels bad that he helped those stout axe dwarves that turned out to be well some turned out to be evil, some turned out to be good. So yeah, I think it's still good. I mean you mostly did good, Gimli. We forgive you. I understand you know Gimli, son of Gloin. He has Go to the Florence to room in the hall under the mountain. <laughs> we go back. So those are not meant to be done back to back to back, right? It's supposed to have to work a little bit. That's why this is probably going to be very annoying. Probably going to take me like five videos. A legend. Um, but yeah, we do what we can. It is what it is. Da -da -da -da. Ah, Gimli, what we can we do for you? Gimli! Yes. I await now his word. He considered my proposal. It's not judgment. Alright. Gimli, steadfast and loyal. Does he hold to his word? Yes. You sh should know him. That is good to hear and meets my own expectation. Glorin's son has requested permission to lead a com company of dwarves far to the south to a place he names the Clittering Caves. Alright, where you establish a new dwarf colony, so we go back to Ron. Uh, I've arrived my my station, Gimli, son of Glory. By my authority as king under the mountain, I give you all rights necessary to establish your colony and to be named the Lord of the Clitheron Caves. For all the responsibility that in takes. Work for the betterment of Dune's Fog and report to me in your progress. Take such dwarves with you as you seem necessary. Alright, so we gotta find... Dwarves uh, that are willing to accompany him. So we gotta, gotta run around and see if anybody wants to go. Uh, there's two dudes right here. Come on. Let's go. Yep, he's coming. This guy... Not coming. What a loser. Uh, let's see, let's go upstairs. Check, there was at least one quest ring that was upstairs. And that way we can go upstairs, cross over and come back basically. And that, that should do it. Yep, there's that guy that we saw from downstairs. Uh, he will come. Perfect. Is there another guy there? Yep, there's another guy. You guys here. 
And... Cannot go. He can go. See what this guy wants. So we kind of start a new Dwarven Colony, that's kind of cool. There's Womber being... Probably eating a lot. Uh, you know, that's fine. Oh, this guy's respawn? Does it just respawn the guys that didn't go? Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Don't respawn the guys, because I don't remember if I talked to them already or not. But... Oh well. Um, there's a guy to talk to. And there's probably guys downstairs as well. Uh, he does come. How about this one? He... Cannot follow Gimli. How about you? You need two more. He cannot. Bunch of losers. Come on, it's Gimli. He should be a legend. Uh, for what he has done for, for Middle Earth. But no, yeah, more important thing to you. Probably a family or something. Uh, did we miss anybody? There we go. So you better come. Maybe we should just order them. Uh, he did not come. How about you two? Free beer. There you go. The beer did it. He's coming. Ah, oh, that boy cannot come. Ah, right, this one. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so I don't know where else we can find dwarves if that's if he doesn't come. All right, perfect. Talk to Gimli by the provisioner. Um, provisioner should be at the entrance. So you'll be up there somewhere. Maybe? It's a big hall. That's the only problem. The other um, Allegion areas are a little bit smaller. So like the Lothroyan one is the best for auction house and everything, but doesn't it's not connected to the Daylands. That's more than six dwarves. Yes! I have found a number of willing allies as well, and together we have formed a good companion. There are still many preparations to make, but the promise of the Clearing Caves has put a spring in my step and a fire in my heart. We made great work there and fashioned the Clearing Caves into a wonder even more beautiful than it began. I thank you again for your words on my behalf, and you will always be welcome at the Clearing Caves. Alright, that's that chapter. So, if you want to continue the storyline, we're going to have to, you know, get more XP here and go up to level 15, basically. Uh, but we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching guys, as always, if you enjoyed this, you know, feel free to hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment, all of that helps a lot, and I'll see you next time.